Hi, my name is Ellen Miller, and I'm director of the pre-medical certificate program at Hofstra University. The pre-medical post-baccalaureate certificate in natural science prepares students who hold a bachelor's degree, but who have not previously studied the sciences, as well as helps those who wish to enhance their academic record for entrance into a health professions program of their choice. Our basic curriculum, particularly for those students interested in medical or osteopathic school, includes one year of general biology with a lab, a year of general chemistry with a lab, one semester of organic chemistry, a semester of biochemistry, one year of algebra or calculus-based physics, and at least one semester of calculus to be com considered competitive. For the new MCAT, which recently changed, um, courses in statistics, intro to psychology and sociology are also required. Suggested courses for other professions, such as dentistry, include fine arts, such courses as ceramics, jewelry making, anything to help students develop um, their manual dexterity. Physician assistant programs generally require a year of anatomy and physiology and a semester of microbiology. Similarly, physical therapy programs require anatomy and physiology and statistics and veterinary medicine, and in addition to the general biology courses, also requires microbiology, parasitology, and animal physiology, which we all offer at Hofstra. This program can be taken on a full or part-time basis and can be completed in as little as 15 months. What's wonderful about this program, it's not lockstep, but it's a customized program based on students' previous academic background and career goals. And the, this program will be created with the help of specially trained advisors in the health professions. In order to earn the certificate in natural sciences, students must complete a minimum of 32 credits at Hofstra. Support services for this program include tutoring on an individual and group basis, as well as academic success courses, such as time management, study skills, courses like that, career services, and counseling services. Upon completion of this program, students may be eligible to sit before the Pre-Health and Professions Advisory Committee and go through that process and MCAT test preparation assistance and advisement during the application process. Students in the pre-medical certificate program are entitled to all of the resources and activities that occur on campus at Hofstra, including the Health Scholars Program. In the Health Scholars Program, students um, get access to opportunities and activities they would not normally have access to because of the medical school on campus. We have lecture series in combination with the medical, uh, the medical school, um, and it really is a wonderful opportunity for students to gain hands-on experience um, at Hofstra. We have a post-baccalaureate student network, which serves as a sort of a student support group specifically directed for post-bac students. Um, topics will occur, topics discussed at the monthly meetings might be um, financial planning, uh, how to balance uh, work life, family life, et cetera. And students also are eligible for membership in the Association for Pre-Health Oriented Students, our premier pre-health organization on campus. Students who have completed this program have been accepted at such schools as our um, Hofstra North Shore LIJ School of Medicine, SUNY Stony Brook, Upstate and Downstate, Johns Hopkins, Harvard, Tulane, Drexel, Georgetown, University of Pennsylvania Veterinary School, and New York University School of Dentistry, plus uh, a whole list of other schools. The application process is quite simple. Students need to hold a bachelor's degree, have a minimum GPA of a 3.0, 
complete an online application through hofstra.edu slash grad apply, upload copies of transcripts. Applications are reviewed on a rolling basis and there is a quick turnaround time after review of application. Um, so students are notified of acceptance rather quickly. Students can enter in the fall, spring, or summer semesters. Any specific questions on the curriculum can be directed to me at 516-463-4958 uh, or via email at ellen.c.miller at hofstra.edu. For general questions on the application process, the Office of Graduate Admissions can be contacted at 516-463-4723 or via email at premedpostback at hofstra.edu. Some, there is a support available for MCAT preparation and application process. That was one of the questions. So we are partnering with some of the test prep organizations to develop specific programs geared towards, toward post -bac students. And there will be individual and group counseling on all aspects of the application process, including um, mock interviews, essay writing, and how to fill out the standardized application. Another question was, how do I select courses each semester? Each semester, students are need to meet with the advisor, again, specially trained out of the Center for University Advisement. And um, classes are selected. And again, we individualize a program for each student depending on their um, previous background. Is financial aid available? Students will work with our Student Financial Services Office um, once they filled out the, the financial aid form and determine what sources are available. Particularly students in this program are eligible for uh, federal subsidized loans. This program can be completed in a varied period of time. Um, as little as 15 months, some students might take up to two years. Again, it depends on the career choice and if there's any previous science background. Um, typically, students take about eight credits per semester or two science classes per semester. Um, courses are also available in the summer, so students really can... Um, complete up to a year's worth of science in two summer sessions. And again, like I previously mentioned, there was pretty quick turnaround time as far as um, students being notified of a decision. Uh, we work closely with the Graduate Admissions Office for a quick uh, decision time. Also a question about housing. There is housing available on campus for students um, who live out of state, the graduate housing, and these students are housed with uh, graduate students, PhD students, and other medical students. Uh, one question, are courses such as physics one offered in the fall semester and not the spring? So again, this program has courses offered in fall and spring. So courses such as um, Physics 1 are offered fall and spring, similarly with Physics 2, so you can take courses at a sequence. Okay, so another question, if students uh, have previously taken pre-med courses and did not do well, so you have the opportunity through this program to either repeat courses that you did not do so well in or take upper level courses to just demonstrate your knowledge of, of the material. So again, there is that opportunity to either repeat the courses or to take upper level courses to demonstrate your mastery of the material. Uh, 
Um, are there other courses that are suggested for those students interested in podiatry school? So what we'll do is basically the curriculum, that basic science curriculum of a year of bio, two years of chemistry, a year of physics, we would tailor depending on which schools the students wanted to apply to. So again, we would work with the students to develop a list of schools the students wanted to apply to. And then if there were other necessary specific prerequisites, we would add them to the student's program of study. So if students also, so students holding a graduate degree would also, that would also be considered in the admissions decision as well. If a student's GPA is um, slightly below the 3.0 GPA, we would also look at that on a case-by-case -case basis and we might uh, request additional information on uh, and meet with that student as well to decide the best, best course of study. Um, does, the does this program offer research opportunities to post back students? Students in this program um, are well regarded by the faculty because of the maturity. Um, they, they show inside and outside the classroom. So there is opportunity for students to do either, either volunteering um, in research on campus or um, um, our office is privy to a lot of research and internship opp intern opportunities across the country that we make available to students in the program. So there is an opportunity for students to do research uh, for post -bac students. All right, thank you very much for joining us this evening. If you have any additional questions, please email ellen.c.miller at hofstra.edu or premedpostback at hofstra.edu. Thank you.